it seems like everybody in the country right now is talking about this petition that uh, Dr. Leslie Lewis has sponsored. So she didn't author it. 60,000 signatures on the petition. A guy, a private citizen out of B.C. that's calling for Canada to leave the United Nations. And when you get into the actual wording, he's worried about the so-called Agenda 2030, uh, thinks that you know educational institutions are damaging children, concealing information from parents. Of course, sex ed pops up in this. They, they talk about unelected private entities that are trying to ruin people's lives. The actual press gallery isn't really covering the story to the degree that they probably should or could. And, you know, Press Progress is the one who's been leading the way um, on this and very many other stories that um, kind of highlight the uh, problematic conspiracy theory adjacent world that many conservative MPs and, you know, front bench members, like if the conservatives were to form government, I mean, Leslie Lewis is in the shadow cabinet. I think we can credibly assume she would be given a ministerial position or role. Um, So it's incredibly important to call this stuff out. But until this gets into um, regular Ottawa political bubble conversation, um, I don't think it's going to make a difference. And and currently, we have the vast majority of political reporters and pundits in this country um, still kind of framing both the liberals and the conservatives as, you know, variations of like the same thing as Coke and Pepsi, essentially, when that's just simply not true. Um, You don't have to agree with the liberal party, you don't have to agree with the liberal government. But I mean, you don't have uh, front bench liberal members that are, you know, claiming that somehow mRNA vaccines are going to change our our DNA, which, by the way, is impossible to do for at least three good reasons. But it's just, you know, it's like living in an alternate reality. The whole idea of the 15 minute cities flares up again, which I think is just like we've done entire episodes on it. It's just absolutely amazing. But he's talking about like central bank, digital currency, people being forced to eat bugs and like it. She wasn't a front runner, but she's a prominent former candidate for the leadership of the conservative party. Like you said, a a probable cabinet minister that's putting this, putting her name on this and like introducing this to the House of Commons to be debated, to be considered. It's just like perpetuates this idea that it's a party that I mean, I know there's a lot of normal people. There's millions of normal people that support the conservatives that would like to see a normal, steady, credible, reputable conservative option out there. And stunts like this just I mean, I know I feel like I'm stating the obvious here, but it's just like two steps back every single time. I'd be pissed if I was just a regular MP. Is it actually two steps back if nobody's really talking about it, right? Like, we're talking about it, and I think that's great. I think. Why it's don't you that- think anybody is? Like, are these too snobby? There's just bigger stories, or they're just laughing this off, or they don't think it's a thing, or what? I think there's a bunch of reasons. I mean, I think, for one, I, I don't think a good chunk of our uh, political news room leadership, uh, frankly, understands the Internet. <laughs> or frankly understands the way um, information ecosystems have changed um, and just how easy it is uh, I, to get sucked into these sorts of rabbit holes and just how it can very much influence your entire worldview. Um, so they treat a lot of you know, Pierre Polyev social media activity, a lot of conservative MPs social media activity as like this sort of weird outlier that has nothing to do with their own opinions or their own values or their own stances on things. And I think that's incredibly short-sighted, particularly um, when we see what's happened in in other jurisdictions. And we've seen just how, you know, um, conspiracy theories and, and some of this more further right rhetoric can really take hold.